surprise, surprise. Um, Android 14, as you know, the uh, Pixel updates, I guess, have gone live. At least the developer preview has. Um, we got notified, I got notified that it's available to download. I initially did not download it. Um, still not sure if the security patches are out. It's the... What day, what, what day is it? Wednesday the 7th. It was supposed to come out Monday the 5th. But um, there are there are reports that this developer preview, this Android 14 beta number 3 release, is stable enough for public usage. Uh, it was kind of a surprise to me because I got the notification, swiped it away, did not... Uh, it tried to... It tried to uh, update my device. I have automatic updates turned off. However, it still notifies you. I turned it off or swiped it away because I did not want Android 14 due to the bugs. However, there's been some reports and I'll put a link in the description where uh, people have been downloading it and Google says it is actually stable enough for public usage. So all the apps should work. All the banking apps should work. All the APIs, Android 14 APIs are uh, valid and uh, should be okay to use essentially um, now it is an enormous update <clears throat> I was looking at the update and it is a 2.69 gigabytes that's enormous now I'm coming from Android 13 beta but this third release um um, I think there is one last update before let's, uh, let's see this. Um, I apologize here. Let's see. Android 14. Let me search here. I have the release schedule here and it looks like. Android, I apologize. I, I had this on my phone saved so I wouldn't have to be sitting here searching, but I actually saved it on the phone I'm recording on. Um, so there's been some testers on this, and they've all said it is greatly improved. Now, I'm on Android 13 beta number three. This is Android 14 beta, and it's also re they also released it for the Google Pixel 7a. So if you have the 7a and you want to try the beta, now is a great time. I am going to download it and install it on my Pixel 7 Pro, Android 14, the, the, the third version of this beta. Now, if you do have a Pixel, it takes forever to update. I don't know why. It, this one being so large, look, even with a 114 megabyte update, like for a security patch, it takes like an hour or something. So this is probably gonna take a few hours. I'm gonna do it overnight. Uh, I'm gonna hit update, okay, wait till it starts, go to sleep, wake up in the morning, restart the phone, it'll be good to go because I'm gonna be sitting there waiting for hours and that's why I didn't do it earlier because I knew it wouldn't even be ready for right now. So I'm gonna um, download it overnight and then tomorrow I'll do a video. We'll go back in the lab. Uh, we will review it for you and record some things uh see what's new there should be some new uh my wife was excited i think she's going to download it on hers she has the regular she does not have beta she has regular android 13 but she wants to try the new lock screen widgets and all that crap um it says fixed issues with cause unnecessary power consumption although i've heard android 14 has phenomenal battery life fixed stability system stability issues which is good less crashes fixed an issue that caused system settings app to crash while setting the wallpaper fixed an issue with the system user interface that could cause a GPU hang leading to application not responding fixed system issue that would sometimes cause devices GPS services to stop working fixed issues with the multimedia subsystem that could prevent devices from being able to access Wi-Fi calling there's a lot fixed an issue blank uh, with a blank screen after selecting messaging option for a recent caller in the phone app fixed issue or uh, uh while three button navigation was enabled for a device putting google maps in the picture in picture mode 
<laughs> fixed an issue where locking and unlocking a device while playing a video in the Google TV app could freeze. Fixed an issue with Android Auto. And there's a lot more, to be honest with you. Um, really cool. It looks like... Uh, it looks like this should be the one. So if you're interested in it now, here's the, here's the question and that I don't know the answer to. Well, I guess I could find out when we do my wife's, but I wouldn't have the information for you to, uh, till tomorrow, which I will do as well. But if you're on the regular stable version of Android 13 and you want to move, to, move on to a beta, does it force you to go to Android 14 beta 3 or can you roll into Android 13? beta 3 I don't know but we will try it with her phone assuming she still wants to do it tonight and then tomorrow I'll, I'll let you know um, you know what it what it because I know there was a uh, there was a subscriber uh, in the past and I think they fixed it where it was forcing you to go to Android 14 but I think they allowed you to go to 13 but I don't know what they're doing now to be honest with you but um, interesting enough, there looks like the final release of Android 14 is going to be in August. So it looks like there's going to be, let's see, we're going to have one more beta release after the one today that was released, uh, uh, 14 beta 3, there will be a 14 beta 4 in July. And then the stable version of Android 14 that everybody will get, whether you want it or not, uh, is it will be in August. And then in September, the um, new Pixel 8s will be out. So, very interesting. Uh, today's the day that I was waiting for to get for Android 14 to be stable. And today's the day. So I'm gonna update my phone. I'll come back and make a video tomorrow and let y'all know what it looks like. And if you got any questions, holler at me in the comments and I'll see if I can um, answer them on the uh, new, new, uh, new device uh, software. So I appreciate the time and I will holler at y'all tomorrow with the new software.